Wind in my hair, salt on my skin. I don't know where I begin. Feel so peaceful with the stars up above. Well, I've always, I've always wanted to to perform. I've always wanted to. Uh, I've always loved it. Um, when I was a kid, there were you know these big cabarets, big um, Andy Eastwood style shows. You know, there's huge, and the lights are flashing, and the music's there, and there's drummers, and I've always been in love with that. And um, when I was in my early twenties, I started working at a nightclub, and uh, I ran a karaoke bar for about five years. And overlapping that, I started working for a band doing sound and lights for them. And uh, through that, I started singing a couple of songs with them at the end of the night, and uh, it became sort of a thing. And I really, that's when I fell in love with, really fell in love with performing. And um, I thought I had been, I thought I was out of it. Uh, about 2005, I had been in a band that was finally finished, and I was like, I'm done. And then I got into theater, and I was doing theater shows, and very happy. That was my outlet. That was my creative outlet. And then a week before my 41st birthday, I bought a ukulele because, hey, that looks like fun. Let me get one. And two days later, I turned to my wife, and I said, this is what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. And I was very happy being just a guy that plays the ukulele, you know, just as a hobby and I was more than happy doing that, and then sort of the economy went a little kerplooey, and I needed to find a job, and so I spent four months uh, head down, ten hours a day, busting my butt, uh, learning how to learning songs, but also learning how to play songs and learning how to learn songs. just being thrown in the pool, the deep end. The very first gig I ever did, we had some um, rather drunk Irish ladies come up and they wanted me to play Maggie May. And I didn't know Maggie May. And uh, they just kept asking. And after 17 times, I lost my temper a little bit. Um, and I said, fine. And I bought, it, bought the chords up on my iPad and I went, all right, I think I can figure this out. Which one of you is singing? Was thinking they would go, oh, we're sorry, we're going to go away. This beautiful little Irish girl, about five feet tall, straight, sheer black hair, just beautiful. And she got up, and I started playing, faking my way through it, and she just belted this thing out. And I said, I have to get a lot better at this. The most important thing, to, to be completely honest, I used to sing with, as I mentioned, with, with the rock band, and the drummer was my best friend. And we had, you've played with people before, that language that you have where you don't need to use words anymore. And we had that, and that, the, that energy that you s spread across the stage with your bandmates. When I started doing the solo, I couldn't figure out where to find that energy. And what literally, I'm not kidding, one day I was in the middle of a song and I went, oh, these are my bandmates. And it completely changed everything. And I just started treating the audience like they were on my side, like they were my teammates. And it was such an, that was like the most important lesson that I, that I, that I have ever taught myself. I've learned so much from other people, but the, the, the important lesson I learned from myself is an audience is on your side and that makes them your teammates. And if you treat them like your teammates, you're going to have the best time. Place is unknown. Dance on the ocean.